Have you ever heard a story that should be terrifying, but after hearing it, you just say, yeah, okay, whatever. Or maybe you were in a curious mood and read stories on the internet that were true, only to find out they're more of a friend of mine had a cousin whose father's friend, sister happened to be there. Boring. But there are many frightening stories that keep you awake at night that are verified as true or at least have some sort of visual evidence. And although pictures and videos can and are sometimes faked, there's just something about these that are in some way different. Folklore, urban legends, creepypasta, all are platforms where frightening stories can grow. I'm Mike with List25, and these are 25 terrifying true horror stories. Twenty-five, MK Ultra. After World War II, the CIA started a program designed to use mind control against the enemies of the United States. They did this by using unwitting test subjects, usually those who were thought to either be secret agents or expendable. The CIA's version of the program started in the early 50s, sometimes with their subjects and other times with everyday citizens. These subjects would be observed if they were in public, but if the experiments were being done in testing facilities, they would be mentally and physically tortured. These prisoners, as that's what they had essentially become, were given high doses of LSD, barbiturates were given to make the subjects sleep, and then high doses of amphetamines were shot into their systems to keep them awake. Many other drugs were used, such as heroin, morphine, mescaline, and sodium pentothal. And don't think that it was just American citizens that were being tortured. Experiments were also conducted on Canadian and Danish citizens as well. The people behind this program built detention camps in countries such as Germany, Japan, and the Philippines, so that if they were ever found out, they would be able to escape criminal prosecution. Finally, in 1973, 20,000 documents that had been stored in the wrong place were discovered. The rest were incinerated by the CIA to cover up their crimes. Oh, and remember when I said at the beginning that the CIA's version started in the 1950s? Well, America wasn't the first to try this. Much of the early work was done in Japanese facilities and in Nazi concentration camps. And our government thought it'd be a good idea to keep their work going. 24. Lizzie Borden. Lizzie Borden took an axe, gave her mother 40 wax. When she saw what she had done, she gave her father 41. That poem is about Lizzie Borden, a spinster who was acquitted of the 1892 murder of her father and stepmother, although there was circumstantial evidence that pointed to her being the killer. The community shunned her after the trial. Today, that house is a bed and breakfast where the morbidly curious often stay to witness the strange paranormal phenomena that often takes place. Pictures of the crime scene have been known to tip over and slide across the floor for no apparent reason. Voices can be heard in the walls during the night, and once, a visitor taking the tour had her phone go off after she had turned it off. She told the group it was her mother. The guide asked if she'd like to step out and take the call. The woman shook her head and said, she died two years ago. 23. The Mary Celeste On a voyage in the eastern Azores, British Captain David Morehouse spotted a ship in the distance that appeared to be adrift. He changed course to intercept the floundering vessel. He recognized the ship as the Mary Celeste, which had set sail from New York eight days before Captain Morehouse. Upon boarding, members of Morehouse's crew saw a ship that was quite seaworthy and had plenty of food and supplies and cargo that was secured and intact. The only thing missing was the lifeboat and the entire crew. Nobody was ever able to discover what became of those who were once on board. 22. The Texarkana Phantom Late at night on February 22, 1946, 25-year-old Jimmy Hollis and his girlfriend, Mary Jean Larry, were parked on Lover's Lane, a secluded road in Texarkana, Texas. Suddenly, a man wearing a pillowcase mask with eye holes cut into it shined a flashlight in their eyes, instructed them to get out, and hit Hollis with a gun, causing multiple skull fractures. 
He then sexually assaulted Larry. This was the first attack of four over the course of 10 weeks that injured three and killed five. In each attack, the victims were a couple and were killed by being shot. It was the work of a serial killer. Local, state, and federal agencies performed thorough investigations. Although an arrest was made, the suspect never went to trial for lack of evidence. The killer was never caught. 21. BTK Between 1974 and 1991, 10 people were murdered in the Wichita Park City area of Kansas. The police and media outlets received letters describing the method of the murders in detail and also contained taunts, strange poetry, and suggestions as to what his serial killer name should be. In the end, he was finally known as BTK, Bind, Torture, Kill. The killing stopped in 1991 and remained unsolved. People were understandably nervous and frightened during this time and wanted to beef up their security systems and safety measures. In 2004, the letters began again. This time, detectives were able to trace the source to a man named Dennis Rader, a trained electrician, church board member, and serial killer. This is unnerving enough as it is, but the final fact makes it so much worse. His job during the time of his crimes? Well, he worked as a security system installer for people afraid of BTK. 20. Lost Toys not all stories have to be supernatural to be scary. Sometimes you find out something about the everyday world in which we all exist. This horror story is one simple sentence long, and it should be the scariest thing you will ever hear. Are you ready? Your world will change after you hear this. The United States currently has six lost or stolen nuclear weapons. No idea where they are or who has them. Nuclear weapons missing. Six of them. 19. The Bunny Man. Air Force Cadet Robert Bennett and his fiancee were parked in an open field across the road from the house of Bennett's uncle. After a few moments, they saw something in the field running toward them. As it got closer, they realized it was someone dressed in a bunny suit wielding a hatchet. The bunny man was screaming that they were trespassing and started to attack the car. This incident was repeated several times, all with slight variations. One reporting that the bunny man had eaten a local resident's runaway cat. Finally, there was talk of missing children and murders. Since then, over 50 sightings of the bunny man have been reported, all at or near the Colchester overpass, which has now been officially renamed Bunny Man Bridge. Some even swear that his ghost appears every Halloween to mark the anniversary of his death. That's coming up soon. 18. Clowns A young girl is sound asleep in her bed. It's a quiet night and all seems well. Then, from under the bed, emerges a horrifying clown. The video goes viral. Then the clown is seen wandering on the roadside in the middle of the night. Before long, stickers of the clown with a phone number are seen on street signs, flyers, and the internet. People call the number and find out that the clown can be hired to scare anyone you like for free. Eventually, a documentary is made revealing the clown to be a 65-year-old unidentified man. But then, a person claiming to be the real Wrinkles says that the man in the documentary is his alter ego, and he, the real Wrinkles, is a performance artist and the mystery will be explained in 2023. Maybe it's not horrifying, but it certainly is unsettling. The horrifying part is that in 2016, clown sightings began to take place. All through the US, Canada, parts of Europe, and as far as New Zealand, people began to see a solitary, evil-looking clown, and sometimes entire groups standing along the roads, near schools, outside homes, seemingly everywhere. No explanation has ever been learned about how or why this happened, and no arrests were ever made, which means they're all still out there. 2023 should be interesting. 17. The Stanley Hotel 
A writer is startled awake in the early morning hours after having a dream about his son trying to escape an evil entity, in the form of a fire hose, as it chases him through the halls of the hotel. He lights a cigarette and begins to write feverishly. By the time the cigarette is burned down, the bones of his book are set. He settles back to rest in room 217 and readies himself for another day. The hotel was the Stanley Hotel in Colorado. The writer was Stephen King, and the story became The Shining. But the story gets weird if you think about it. At the time of King's stay, the Stanley was on its last legs, once great but now run down. The hotel is used for the filming of The Shining, and King really hated it. So he puts together a little production company to film the book the way he wants it. In doing so, the hotel is essentially renovated in the main areas and has notoriety as a boost. So the dream came to King in what is rumored to be a hotel filled with spirits and hauntings. He wrote a book about said hotel, a movie was made there, the place is refurbished and renewed, and is saved from decay and ruin. It sort of makes you wonder if the spirits of the hotel set in motion the means to its new life. Creepy. 16. Zodiac. There is a murder. Then news outlets receive a letter from the killer. The letter contains a cipher that must be solved and the killer wants published. More murders happen and more letters are sent with the same cryptic ciphers and codes and the killer claims to get more and more outrageous. Sometimes he follows through, sometimes he doesn't. Some of the letters even come with pieces of victim's clothing attached to prove he is the actual killer. In all, there were five killings that could be attributed to the madman. Two survivors and 20 to 28 more killings believed to be the work of the killer, although he claimed he murdered 37 people in total. If this sounds like Riddler from the Batman, you wouldn't be far off. This was the work of Zodiac, a real serial killer on which the Riddler character was based. For over a year, this game of cat and mouse murder was played. The police were never able to identify the killer. Unlike in the movies, sometimes the bad guy wins. 15. The Kirkendalls You get a text from someone you don't know. You wouldn't usually make a big deal of it, but this text says that the person sending it is going to murder your kids. The texts start to happen every day, and they get much worse and much more intimate. The messages start to describe what you and your family are wearing or doing. Then you start receiving phone calls and messages that are recordings of your conversations. Not your phone conversations, but your conversations that occur between family members in the home. At this point, you are terrified and contact authorities, but they're stumped. They trace the calls and they appear to be coming from the phones of family members. Do you feel that anxiety creeping in yet? This is a true story of what happened to the Kirkendall family of Washington State. No reason was ever given for the harassment and no one was charged because nobody was ever able to figure out how it was done. 14. Pa Hank On the podcast Monsters Among Us, a woman named Jacqueline told of her childhood when she would visit her grandparents in Oklahoma. She reminisced about sitting in the backyard with her grandfather while he told her stories about his life. One thing he told her was that he had been a bootlegger during Prohibition. He was quite the character, she said. She said that it was one of her most cherished memories to sit with him while they talked and played together under a big tree in the backyard. The bond they had made her family happy as well. They always hoped that Jacqueline and Pa Hank, as she called him, would become close. However, the odds were certainly stacked against it ever happening. You see, Pa Hank died the year before Jacqueline was born. 13. Berkshire County Thomas Reed and his family drove along a county road one night in 1969. Above them, a disc roughly the size of a football field appears. They are engulfed in light and begin to feel like they're levitating. Other than a few flashes, they remember very little. Thomas awakes on his back in the back of his property, his daughter on the banks of a local lake. You may think this is a made up incident to elicit attention, but no. Over 40 other people reported seeing the same ship that night. The people were not connected in any way, but when they gave their stories, all of their details matched. If you still think this is silly, 
consider this. In early 2022, the US government and the Pentagon confirmed over 400 interactions with UFOs. 12. Villisca Axe Murder House It's 1912, and the Moore family, along with two sisters who were friends of the Moore children, arrived at their home. They had just spent the evening at a Children's Day celebration at their local Lutheran church, an event Mrs. Moore had helped plan. After spending some time together, they all settled down for a good night's sleep. Sometime before dawn, each of them, adults first, children second, and their two little guests were bludgeoned to death by an intruder, or intruders, that may or may not have been hiding out in the attic of the house waiting for them all to go to sleep. The only person who received their injuries from the blade side of the axe was the father. Although there were many suspects, no arrests were ever made. The house is now a tourist attraction that gives tours and can be booked for overnight stays in one of the rooms where the members of the family were slaughtered. So, sleep tight. 11. A Past Life It was the anniversary of 9-11, and a couple sat watching a special about the event. As they watched, their three-year-old daughter was coloring. As the television showed one of the planes hit the tower, the little girl looks at the screen and, in an emotionless voice, simply says, I died there. The parents sit in stunned silence as the little girl simply returns to her coloring. It's been said that children are especially receptive to the strange energies around them. That bond could even be more powerful when the child is connected to an event from another life. After making her announcement about her previous death, every time anything about 9-11 came on, she would tell her parents, Turn this off. I don't want to see this. 10. St. Louis Cathedral In New Orleans stands the St. Louis Cathedral, one of the oldest churches in the area. You may be thinking, but Mike, these are supposed to be scary stories. Surely there would never be anything scary at a church. And you'd be so wrong. St. Louis Cathedral is said to be haunted by many ghosts. One of the most well-known is Father Antonio de Sevilla, who was a priest at the church. Many people say they have seen him walk down the alley next to the church, and parishioners have attested to having seen him at multiple Christmas masses. But don't think a kindly priest is the only spirit you could see. Among the devoted parishioners of St. Louis's was the voodoo queen, Maria Laveau, and socialite Delphine LaLaurie, one of the most evil women ever. Many have said these two practitioners of the dark arts still roam the grounds of the cathedral. Nine. NPR. While most people in Western culture fall into one of three categories, they don't believe in ghosts and therefore don't care, they believe and are freaked out by them, or have a complete open mind about it. In Eastern Asian countries, it would be far more strange for you not to believe in ghosts and restless spirits. On the NPR podcast, The Truth That Creeps Beneath Our Spooky Ghost Stories, Ryan McMichael told about his experience while visiting his wife's family in Vietnam. McMichael tells of a figure that woke him up by shaking him. Because it was 3 a.m., McMichael was still well out of it. The figure helped him stand and pointed him in the direction of the bathroom. Now awake, he couldn't make sense of what had just happened. He realized it couldn't have been a member of the family as he had to unlock the door before leaving his room. The next morning, he told the family about the occurrence, and they seemed to not care at all. It was normal for them, and told him that it was probably just the ghost of the grandfather who was, you know, trying to help. 8. CCTV Hampton Court In 2003, a CCTV security camera captured what appeared to be a skeleton wearing clothes that looked hundreds of years old and was closing a huge fire door. Originally not thinking much of it, they figured it was likely a camera glitch. While logging the guest book for the day, someone wrote that they saw a strange figure in that same area. When they went to the security footage, they saw the apparition clearly. Some people believe it was camera trickery, but those familiar with Hampton Court Palace have no problem believing, as Skeletor is not the only spirit haunting the place. It's believed that King Henry VII's third wife, the mild-mannered Jane Seymour, and fifth wife, the Screaming Queen, Catherine Howard, roam the halls. Also, the Grey Lady, Sybil Penn, a devoted servant and wet nurse, also resides in the palace. 7. Stone's Public House One evening, during a private event, the manager of Stone's Public House observes a father and son 
coming in the back door of the pub where they had been watching the trains pass by on the tracks that back up to the pub's property. He heard the boy telling his father, shouldn't we help that crying girl out there? The father replied, you and I were the only ones out there, buddy. The son looked at the father in confusion and said, she was right next to me. How could you not see her? The manager knew exactly who the boy was talking about. It was Mary, the daughter of a woman who had worked there and had been killed while playing near those very train tracks. Six, The Watcher, New Jersey. A family moves into a beautiful $1.3 million home in New Jersey. The family is settled and happy. Everyone loves the new neighborhood and all seems well with the world. But then you start to receive letters from someone who will only identify themselves as the watcher. The letters include phrases like, the house has been the subject of my family for decades. I've been put in charge of the watching and waiting until its second coming. Soon the letters start to include references to your children. The watcher writes, have they learned what's in the walls yet? And I am pleased to know your names now and the names of the young blood you've brought me. This story is completely true. It happened to a real family. No one was ever able to find the watcher and the family was forced to flee the house. A lawsuit has been filed against the previous owner. Five, Elisa Lamb. A blogger travels through the Western United States. She documents her trip to share with the world. In late January of 2013, she checks into the infamous Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles. On the 31st, the blogger disappears. The only clue to her disappearance is security video from the hotel elevator. In the video, the blogger, whose name is Elisa Lamb, can be seen talking to invisible people, crouching down and looking cautiously around the door. She opens and closes the elevator door multiple times. Finally, she exits the elevator and is never heard from again. Authorities search for her with no results. In February, after complaints of the hotel's water having a foul smell and an odd taste, a hotel employee went to check the water tanks located on the roof of the hotel. When he looks inside, he finds the decomposing body of Lamb. Although the authorities determined the death to be accidental, Questions remain about how Lamb was able to get to the roof and get into the tank. 4. Delphine LaLaurie Anyone who knew Delphine LaLaurie thought she was an upstanding member of society. She was a New Orleans socialite, comfortable in the upper echelons of class and privilege. As it was with most rich people of the day, LaLaurie owned many slaves who worked the grounds of the mansion, as well as performed upkeep on the house itself. In public, she was friends with many slaves of the different houses in town. Yes, she was a slave owner, but for her time, she appeared to be someone who cared deeply for them. But behind closed doors, things were very different. What no one knew was that LaLaurie was a vicious serial killer. Stories began to leak about her treatment of those she owned. One afternoon, a young girl fell to her death while she was on the roof attempting to hide from horrific beatings. On another day, a fire started at the mansion. As it turned out, the cook, who was chained to the stove 24-7, started it in an attempt to commit suicide. When people came to help and save the slaves from the fire, the Lalories would not allow it. After the door was broken down, the crowd was able to save quite a few. What they found upstairs, however, was a shock. Bodies were laying all over the upper room of the house, some well into decomposition. The ones who were still alive had been mutilated. They even found one that had had her bones broken and reset to resemble a crab. Investigations took place where dozens of bodies were found in the house and buried on the grounds. The mob that found out about the horrors tore the house apart, leaving nothing standing but some walls. As for LaLaurie herself, she fled the mob and took a ship to France, where she lived out her days in exile. 3. H.H. H. Holmes The legend of H.H. H. Holmes, America's serial killer, is far more exaggerated than it should be. It was thought that Holmes designed a murder castle where he lured people visiting the Chicago World's Fair. The hotel was fashioned with trap doors, hidden chambers, gas chambers, a body chute, and a crematorium in the basement. While some aspects of the story are true, the legend makes him out to be a homicidal genius. 
But the truth should be much scarier. Holmes was a con artist who killed to steal identities, marry multiple women, and defraud investors and insurance companies. And yes, he was also a meticulous serial killer. In reality, it's not ghosts or monsters we should fear. It's our fellow man that is the most dangerous creature alive. Two, the Poe Toaster. Every year, starting in 1949, a visitor wearing a black cloak with white scarf would slip into the small church graveyard where Edgar Allan Poe was originally buried. He'd say a few private words, lay three red roses on the grave marker, and leave a bottle of French cognac for the deceased author, and then slip away back into the night. It always happened on January 19th, Poe's birthday, between the hours of midnight and 6 a.m. A small group of people would always stand vigil and wait for the Poe Toaster, as he became to be known. No one ever approached the figure or tried to unmask him, always giving him space and respect. Aside from a 2006 unsuccessful attempt to unmask him, this tradition went on for nearly 80 years before coming to an abrupt halt in 2010 when there was no visit. The figure was never identified and no sign of him could be found after he disappeared into the night. One. Grandma's in the Cemetery. Another creepy story that was shared on the Monsters Among Us podcast was told by a man named Jeff who was driving with his son Miles in the Dayton, Ohio area. As they drove, they passed a small cemetery that only had flowers and plants with small plaques to mark the graves. When passing the little graveyard, Miles pointed and said, look at all those people. Turning to look, Jeff saw no one. He asked Miles, what people he was talking about. And Miles said, all those people over there, there sure are a lot of grandmas there. Miles explained that they were all just standing there, staring at the ground. Late in the day, while Miles was watching his favorite cartoon, he passively said, you know, they weren't alive. All those people we saw, they were on pause. I'm not kidding when I say that kids can be super creepy sometimes. So. Do you know of any true horror stories or stories that should scare you? Have you yourself had any? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell so that you get notifications of when we release new videos. And other than that, see you next time. Happy Halloween. That's coming up. Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.